Redneck Muck, peace. So I'm here with your mom, and uh, the load we got on your mom today is uh, not my norm. This isn't something that I do a lot of because I don't really know why. I just never have. Um, when I was a kid, I did a few, but um, Cleo does not have a stereo. So she came out with a factory stereo, I assume, because she has a speaker. But I assume that somebody has removed it. So, um, I don't want a big gaudy stereo. We got a little plug in the dash to cover it up. So I come up with a plan and I do not know if it's going to work, but so I bought this little, uh, amp. This was actually, I hate to say bought, it was free, um, from work. Uh, my years of service, they gave me like some Amazon cards. So I call it free. So this was free. Um, and then the kit that goes with it to wire it free and then uh this is free i had to buy the speakers so i bought just little cheap speakers nothing fancy um 240 watt 200 watt amp and then what this is that's why i don't know if it's gonna work all of this stuff will work but this is in my head it works so uh this is a Bluetooth adapter with RCA jacks. So here's my RCA jack inputs. And I'm like, why can't I just input the Bluetooth adapter there and go to town? Shouldn't it work? I would think. That's my thought. Um, and then, so I'll put the Bluetooth adapter there, mount this under the dash somewhere, Mount these guys under the dash somewhere. Um, this guy has a positive and a negative, so he's pretty easy to deal with. Um, if you look at the back of this guy, I've got a ground, an, a, a remembery, REM, and a 12 volt. So the 12 volt will be straight from my battery, which is what this kit's for. The REM is going to be my ignition source, so you turn the key on and the amp comes on. And then ground is the negative of the battery. So and then these go to the speakers. So it seems pretty straightforward to me. I'm like, you know, plug this dude in. Red to red. White to white. Wire this dude up over here. Maybe, maybe just tack him down here so he doesn't move. And uh, then wire this to the battery. Mount my speakers and wire them. And I think, you know, I turn the key on and I check my phone and I've got uh, a Bluetooth signal and I start my music in my music place. Is that what's going to happen? I don't know. Um, I would have thought if that's what's going to happen, I could find this on the YouTube somewhere. But I have not found anybody on the YouTube that's done this. So I'm like, so let's try. Worst I can do is fail. And then I have the speakers and this all set up. And all I got to do is come up with a... A music source but in my head this works so um most of this will be pretty straightforward so there'll probably be a lot of uh, a lot of high speed on it and uh, i'll bring you in if i think there's something that you should know more of but outside of that let's get on it down to southern indiana road i'll ride in my long two with my pride got my dog fancy by my side oh so tough red nick my Driving through the red leg mud Red candy pants, grease on my jeans Chickens fucking donkeys kicking, it's just the scene Muddy boots of southern roots, I had enough Red leg mud, peace, that's my stuff Red leg mud, yeah, that's why I'm old Ain't no place for home sweet home Red leg mud, peace, that's my tune Rockin' down the road with the rebels crew Down with 
what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through All right, so I found something out. I got my little speakers. I'm going to show you my little speakers. Um, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, guys. Hang on. Ah! All right. So I'm going to show you my little speakers here. These are my little speakers. So I got these guys. My original thought process was I'm going to take the factory speaker out put two of these guys for the factory speaker was because it was a big long dealio so I thought I could put them in there somewhere or another but again the car has thrown me a curve so the curve is um, somewhere in its life somebody has changed the factory speaker and the factory speaker has been changed with a very nice replacement I'm going to say it's still 20 or 25 years old. Um, I don't know when it's put in. I don't think it's ever been wired up. So it could have been put in. Um, the guy started restoring it in the 90s sometime. So he might have got to that point after he messed with some other stuff. And he's like, hey, I'm going to put this speaker in. And it's never been wired up because it looks like it's never been wired up. So uh, anyway, um, so probably somewhere around his garage was a radio that went with it. But uh you know, I didn't get that, so, with other parts I didn't get, so, anyway, so my thought process is now, anyway, so, I'm going to wire that speaker in to my radio system, and hopefully it works well, and I'm going to take these guys and take this little plate here, cut it out, I'm going to mount them in there, and then I think I'm going to bend that plate so they're, like, setting at an angle, and then mount it under the dash, so it'll be in the middle, but at least it'll be under the dash. I'll have music coming out of the top of the dash, music coming out of the bottom of the dash. And uh, maybe that'll be pretty good. So uh, I'm going to, this is the uh, template for these guys. So I'm going to get this cut out, get it bent, get these guys all mounted, um, may throw wires on them um, and all that stuff. And then I'll be ready to try to figure out how to put them in the car. So, I'll be back. Instead of being back, nah, I'll just be back. You don't need to watch me cut this stuff out and drill out holes, do you? Surely not. Like lots of things I do, it didn't come out exactly like I wanted. I was looking for a sharp bend right here, and uh, you know, I should have put that bend in before I mounted the speakers, but it's gonna be easier to drill the speakers out without the bend there. So I did it flat. I thought, yeah, it'll bend all right, it's not that thick. I was wrong, so anyway, cut your speaker holes out. Drill your speaker holes, bend it, mount your speakers. And I'll probably have to cut this off yet, but uh, I'm kind of waiting to see how this fits up in the dash to see this might come in handy for mounting something. I don't know. So um, we'll see. I'm getting somewhere anyway. So my thought is, I'm going to make a bracket here, and I'm going to make a bracket on top, or on bottom, and uh, drill them out, mount them, and then this can mount to the top of the dash, the bottom can mount to the floorboard, and then... 
I will, uh, it'll, they'll be visible. There's just not much room under that dash, man. It is a tiny little dash. You guys probably can't hear me for crap. You can't hear me at all. Can't hear me at all. Oh, yeah, you can. All right. Good deal. I didn't think I had the mic on. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to make this bracket. It'll have to bend this way at an angle. The speaker will set in the tunnel. You'll see. And then a bracket on the bottom, just kind of mount them secure. They should be good and loud. And, you know, the wiring's in the right spot, pointing up toward everything. So, yeah, I think it'll be all right. And is it perfect? No. Should it play music? Yes. So, that's what we're shooting for, music. And, uh, you know, I like music. So I think I got everything hooked up to run or to try it, um, except for the battery. So I'm going to hook the battery up, turn the key on and see if we get anything and uh, go from there. But I'm getting really close. It's not quite exactly like I want it, but uh, you know, if it works, that's what I'm gunning for. Muzak. All right. So I got the, uh, the wiring hooked to the battery. You can almost see that from here. There you go. All right, so I turned the key on and uh, I got a little pop. So I'm like, okay, um, I've checked my phone and I have a new uh, connection to add to. So I'm pairing that connection now. And then, oh, I just heard my I heard my phone clicking. You know how you, it makes the little click click now it sounds when you're backing up. So I got my latest video from YouTube, a little short, downloaded, and I'm gonna hit play. If you this is cool. Wow, this worked. This is awesome. Um, so, you know, let me check the phone and make sure it, uh, it powered itself off and it's not connected now. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of all kinds of stuff at once here. Okay, it's not connected. Nothing connected. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, let me turn it on. It connected. Oh boy, this is cool. I think it's cool. Um, man, how do I get? How do I get to that? Where was I? Oh, YouTube. There we go. Oh 
me super excited if you want, but uh, I'm, I'm really happy. This is cool. All I have to do is finish mounting the amp down under there, and uh, it'll be done. And besides cleaning up my mess, closing the hood and stuff like that. But I might do another video up and cleaned up because, I mean, it's kind of visible and it's kind of not. You have to kind of look for it. So, so yeah, this is cool. And that top speaker works. It sounds pretty good. Um, the amp does have an adjustment on it, but I'm going to leave it alone for the moment. It sounded pretty good. So uh, it was turned almost all the way down and I edged it up just a little bit. So uh, I doubt the speaker's going to handle too much. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute when I get all this cleaned up. Okay, here it is. I mean, you get way down there. You can kind of see the speakers under there, but not very well. Um, you know, you got the block off plate there, cup holder. I need to fix the horn, but, uh, but yeah. And, you know, I think of all the people and, you know, the companies out there that are selling, you know, radios that you can hide and blah, blah. Crap. I just spent less than a hundred dollars if I'd had to buy everything. Uh, the amp was like 30 bucks. The uh, speakers were 45. And then uh, the little uh, Bluetooth adapter dealio was like 11 bucks. Um, I'll see if I can get all the part numbers and put them in uh, my comments section, like, you know, about the video and uh, throw them there. But uh, crap, less than $100. That's good enough for me. I just need to listen to music when I'm driving. I don't need anything crazy. And you can also buy those uh, Bluetooth adapters that have the, the microphone attachment and run the mic up by the steering column somewhere if you want to do hands-free phone. Um, I didn't do that because, one, it's a convertible. Hands-free phone and convertibles don't get along anyway. And, uh, you know, two, if I'm in this and somebody calls me, there better be something on fire because I'm not answering the phone otherwise because, you know, I'm not having fun. But anyway, uh, yeah. I'm excited. This is, uh, I really had no clue if this would work. I didn't see why it wouldn't work, but I thought for sure if it would work, I'd have been able to find stuff on the internet about it and I was not finding anything. So yeah, this is a good deal. Um, I hope that more people do this and, uh, you know, you can use bigger amps. I just, I went really cheap because one, I didn't know if it's going to work and two, balling on a budget as usual. So, you know, Hey, getting it done. I mean, I've got two really good looking cars and I've not really spent that much on them. Um, I would say in this convertible and the Avani both, I'm less than 10 grand counting buying them over the course of uh, two years. I mean, I know everybody didn't have 10 grand laying around. I didn't either in one chunk, but you know, I managed to buy one of the cars and start working on it a little bit at a time, blah, blah. I bought the other one, started working on it a little bit at a time, and, you know, you just got to plug away um, and find the right car. You know, just because you want that make and model, body style, whatever, sometimes you got to say pass because it's too much or you're not, you don't have the abilities to do it. Um, you got to know what your ability limitations are, I guess, but... If you have the ability and the condition that's has, that the car you find's in, and it's the car you want, buy it if you can get it. And man, little by little, a couple hundred dollars here and there changes the whole world. So anyway, get out there and drive your cars. Have have fun. It's a beautiful weekend. Brendan Muck, peace.